In this video, we're going to look at both multiples and then prime and composite numbers. First, we'll start with multiples. What does it mean to be a multiple? Well, it means that if a number is a multiple of another, it means that we could form equal groups of that second number and end up with the first number. Let's look at this first one as an example to help understand. It says, is 42 a multiple of 7? So what that means is if I have groups of 7, equal groups of 7, will I eventually end up with a total of 42 after one whole group? So one group is equal to 7. If I continue adding, two groups is 14, three groups is 21, four groups is 28, five groups is 35, six groups is 42. So I ended a group with the number 42, which means, yes, 42 is a multiple of 7, because 7 times 6 will equal 42. What about is 16 a multiple of 5? Let's try the same thing. One group of 5 would give me 5, two groups 10, three groups 15, four groups 20. Well, 16 is in between 15 and 20, but it is not either of those numbers, so no, 16 is not a multiple of 5. And you can continue on. Is 12 a multiple of 3? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, it is, because 3 times 4 equals 12. You can see we have three groups of, or four groups of 3, and that is equal to 12. And the last one is 20 a multiple of 6. If you solve it out, you'll see no, it is not. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at prime and composite numbers and what those mean. A prime number is different than a composite number because the only way you could multiply two numbers together and get a prime number is by multiplying that number times 1. So for example, the number 7 is prime because the only way I could multiply to get to 7 is 1 times 7. The number 6, however, is what we call composite, because I can multiply 1 times 6, I could also get 2 groups of 3, or 2 times 3, in order to get there. So it is not only 1 times 6 that will get me there. Let's look at some numbers down here and decide whether they're prime or composite. We'll do the number 12, 11, 9, and 15. Let's think. All of them we can multiply by 1 in themselves. So we'll go ahead and write those out. Now if we only have one possible way to multiply, that means that these numbers are prime. Let's think though. 12. Well, I can also multiply 2 times 6 to get me 12, and 3 times 4. There's more than one way, which means that 12 is composite. 11, however, the only way I can multiply to get to 11 is one group of 11, 1 times 11. That means this number is prime. What about 9? I could do 1 times 9. I could also do 3 times 3. That means that this number is composite. And last is 15. I could do 1 times 15 or 3 times 5, which means that 15 is also composite. If there's more than one way to multiply to get to a given product, that number is composite. If you can only multiply one and that number, that number is prime.